I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man is Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Holes Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. What's up, bro? Edward. <laughs> What's up, brother? Hello, dude. It's been a minute since I've seen you. Little solo app, dude. I know. I love this. I'm Actually, psyched. It's been a while. Yeah. And then when we get in it, you're like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, answer, I mean, answer the like, little intro. It's like, ah, oh, what the fuck uh, are we even talking I about? Talk, and I got to talk. <laughs> I was hoping to play off somebody. Oh, and it's I so talk. much easier. I know. The guest is, it's and like, it, okay, no, go ahead. Just It's like, it's just like fill. a married couple that has said everything to each other. <laughs> You just, yeah, like you like know, when you, I come you over, want to be together, but you're like, let's just get some new blood in here. I walk in the door, you're like, hey, hey. <laughs> I, I do love when Ed shows up. It's a nice visit. It's a good visit. So what's up, man? I got what's, fucking. You know what? Yeah, I I was thinking about this as as I was coming over. Mm-hmm. I got fucking work swag, dude. I got the hat. I saw our, the hat. I got the hat from our uh, live pod, yeah. and then this is from a gig, this shirt. And it made me think, dude, like how much I love free merch. Oh, I love Maybe. swag. Yeah. I've worked at so many jobs where you get yeah. like t shirts. Yeah. I still have. That's like, I funny still you have. That. <laughs> Why? Why? Because it's like, a, I mean, finish your sentence, but I. I got I got a thought on it. I do got a thought. I do because I still have like I have T-shirts from like twenty years ago. Oh, well, I believe like... that. <laughs> <laughs> You're not know, convinced beyond uh, you holding on to something for far too long. But I work, you know, in an industry where a lot of the people make good money, mm-hmm. and you would think like when the company gives away. I mean, the company is a a very successful company, so the swag it does give very useful. So uh-huh. I'm not hating on this because I love it too, but. You should see when they're giving out like a free tote, like one of those canvas bags. Yeah. One of those fucking therm- thermoses or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People, you would think oh. people yeah. were getting bread in the poor line. They're, they're like if in they're Soviet, up, Soviet Russia. If, yeah, if yeah, yeah. People are, the buzz around the building, <laughs> you should just sit. The buzz is like, yeah, you're giving shit away. You're going to give shit away. It's like these when Willy people, Wonka put out the golden ticket. These are people that make $100,000 a year oh, easily. It, yeah, yeah. Some and, of them a lot more. The ones I've seen that get excited about it are like making half a mil. <laughs> like, oh my God, there's a new tote bag. There, uh, one lady was so nice one time, one year. I was just like, I had to do something and I was I wanted a new gym bag and I used those for like my gym bag. <laughs> and I don't know if this lady had a crush on me or not, but she went down and got convinced them to give her two. <laughs> like oh, why? Because Be- you were not on the list to get a, a bag? Well, no, you got to wait in line. Oh. That's the catch. You cannot just get, you can't just put one aside. So she went and got you? She went and got me. Cause I what was the dialogue beforehand? I had. Honestly, oh, Joshy, was... <laughs> Joshy, you sure you, you want me to get you yeah, one? She put her panties in there. <laughs> <laughs> She's at the front of the line winking at you. <laughs> I just thought she, I am such a, I'm kind of oblivious to this. And Lauren talks about it all the time. Like I, I would never know. And maybe because I grew up kind of ugly. I never know when someone is like a woman. It has to be blatant for me to accept it. Never since the Me Too shit, it has to be blatant for me to think someone's actually flirting. Oh, see, that's funny because. I always think someone's flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I always. There's been a woman I met who has not some heady who McGee. hasn't flirted with me. Every woman I've ever met has flirted with me. <laughs> I used to be that way, and it was when I was. I think that's why I'm scarred. Is because when I was really awkward looking, mm-hmm. I really thought every woman was infatuated with me. Because my being kind of funny was got me into a lot of places I probably shouldn't have been even as like a goofy 19 year old but yeah and I, I think that scarred me like just knowing that it was a lie like I, oh. I was so delusional see I here's my I'm yes delusion but I am like I buy in 100% and I don't even care that I know like deep down I'm wrong well you're better than me because that's a great place to be oh. it must feel so good <laughs> It's bliss, dude. It's bliss. I know I'm totally wrong, but I'm telling myself this lie, and I'm fucking skipping through my day. <laughs> I can just imagine you every encounter. Like, I had an Uber driver who was a a woman, which already you're, like, excited. This is yesterday. I had a, I was at a work function, and I had to come, you know, you get clearance sometimes to take an Uber after a work function. And she is Latin and from Colombia. And uh, per, just, 
I was thinking like, why do I find this so hot that this attract, attractive, not like she wasn't like one. She's she attractive. Like Colombian, like her whole ass was out, or her titties. Yeah, right. Like, like she's not she a stripper. She wasn't Sophia Vergara she's, she's, she's or whatever. She's just a woman she's driving a, a car. A, yeah. Attractive woman yeah. driving a car. Yeah. And I just was thinking, this is so erotic. And it wasn't. <laughs> right. At all. Right. No. But you're it's, like, It's man. just a person doing a job that you're, a, a pl- you know, taking her services. Yes. And I was yeah. a gentleman. I didn't say anything. I didn't hit on her. But right. I was thinking, man, what if she oh, sure. wants to. Sure. Do something with me. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That would be so erotic. Oh, I, I just run well, those. And you're like, well, I don't know what to do because I know she wants to. <laughs> I mean, we pull off over I mean, here. obviously, we're in, <laughs> you know, we're two people in society. We just have to abide by the rules of society. I'm a married man. I can't be doing this. I know how hard it is for you. It is equally as hard for me, miss. Yeah, it's totally, and it's just, man, I am just painting it on the side of a barn. Just, I don't, I don't believe this in one bit, but it's so when fun. When I walk out, when I get out of this car, when I get out of this Toyota Highlander, I don't want you to drop a tear, Angela. This is not bad. It's just Be happy that I was here, that we shared this moment. That's all it is. That's exactly it's it. It's a moment in time. This is this moment in time that we shared. <laughs> Five stars. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, yeah, she brought me back a bag, and uh, nice. And I didn't, I, I didn't know what, how to respond. Yeah, how did it go? Like, what I did just you? Said, oh, that, I made it very like, you were the kindest. Oh, you went. Uh-huh, I went little, kind, uh-huh. as opposed to like, because I wanted to make sure she knew like this is very. Uh huh. She's older than me, man. She at the time that she must have been twenty years older than me. Oh, okay. One time she showed up to a show. Oh, like at the Lantern. Oh wow! This is during the Lantern yeah, yeah, days. Yeah, sure. Yeah, showed up. Wow. I wasn't married then, but like, she, I'm talking like a six-year-old woman, thirty years old, thirty. So now she gives man. you the bag, and you just go, oh, "You're so kind." You do. You put yeah. pull kind on her. Yeah. yeah, that's funny. I just, you know, you got a heart. You got a gold. great heart. I you can't s- believe I'm so lucky <laughs> to have a friend, <laughs> courteous, <laughs> gregarious. I mean, you must be making somebody so happy in your life. Thank you for this toast. You know what I do now? I do like the um, the party. I do the high five. I don't touch anyone. I do. See, I don't hug. I do a high five. Like if, you, like oh, okay. with comedians that I know. Oh, it's comedy. I comedy, do. Okay. Kind of, yeah. yeah, I do the high five. Yeah, I guess at work I it's wouldn't comedy. do a high five. You know, yeah, comedy yeah. such a weird place. But yeah. I, now more so than ever, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really. I don't you know. really. Oh, yeah. But you don't work in an office. So right. The office, yeah. they. They do a whole, there's a whole new kind of, I'm not going to call it boundaries because that makes it sound like there's shady shit going on, but they, no, 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 now it's a lot clearer, like uh, uh, what's appropriate touching within the office. They really do have it designated now. Uh So you do know like, Hey, right, right, right. This is okay. Right. But if someone does not, you know, that's, it's how it's engaged. Do they really, do do you watch videos on it? Oh my God. Oh wow. On how to hug somebody. Like, so like, like every year they have one. Wow. Every year. And you know what? As much as I hate having to do that, like it is a soul-sucking thing, it is nice to have a frame of reference of w- just in general. At the, yeah, I mean, it's like a fire safety drill at this point. You yeah, know what? Like, Listen, hey, right. I'm glad we're doing this. Yeah, it's I'm good glad to know. you guys are taking fire safety seriously. Yeah. This is well, that's are- great. No one's not going to fuck at the office, but it's nice to know. <laughs> Yeah, all, that some of these humanoids that don't know how to act finally have a cursor. There's a line. Yeah, 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 a yeah line. right. Know. Yeah, there's a video. That's so good. Because some of those, I remember back in the day, I've worked in offices forever, and some of those dudes have no fucking couth, man. Oh, dude. Jesus. And I'm not even talking about with women as much as I mean with women, of course, but just in the their daily interaction, some of these guys are like, "Are you for real, bro?" I was working in advertising, and they get off on it too. You would think like. That was the clubhouse. There's a weird like power, that whole power dynamic. That that's power a, dynamic that's is a real. Psycho. That's a real fucking thing. That and it's yeah. because those dudes feel so weak in real life. I guess the encounters. They are so. You know how they say the mink shot a hair at the earth and the nerds will take over. Remember that was like in the eighties. In the eighties, you could be like an alpha <laughs> fucking. I think, I think it was from the Bible, dude. <laughs> well, no. You remember in the eighties <laughs> the Beatitudes? Well, the first part from the Bible, but the second part. Nerds will take over. <laughs> Have you not seen the movies one, two, and three? <laughs> Nerds in Paradise, number two. 
good. But when you feel like you're getting your ass kicked all day, and then all of a sudden you control the decimal point on the world's money. But I also think it's this. I think some of those dudes, they think there's like some of that power dynamic stuff. They think that's how you're supposed to act. Like yeah. even not even with women. Like so if you're just like being a dick is is like they think that's charm. You, or Cut like I'm good at my job because I'm I'm an asshole to people. You know what I mean? Like they don't even know what their job is, but they know if they're like a dick to people like that, it looks like I'm good at my job or whatever. You know what I mean? I think it's that kind of like, yeah, I really told that guy to fucking eat shit. Yeah. Or something, you know what I mean? Like something, yeah. something like that. Yeah, like yeah, I think yeah, there's yeah. the, there I is, read him the riot act. Yeah. Right. Look how not good, around here, pal. Look how good I am in my job. Yeah. I'm like, that's not he, your job though. No. Yeah. Right. Clown. You, Let me ask you, I got a Josh Batshit question for you. Josh Batshit. Yeah. You know how I go bat shit. You know, how I go bat shit. Sometimes oh, I want to talk about We should make a graphic. <laughs> we should <laughs> make a little graphic. <laughs> that's really what it is. It's Josh going bat shit. Oh, dude, let's make a <laughs> yeah, yeah. segment. Yeah. Like Batman, but Josh goes bat shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me ask you this motherfucker. It, at your job, he has more power than you, more resources. You're just a hump like we are. Mm -hmm. And he has made it his vendetta to make your life miserable. He's affecting your money. He's affecting your family by doing what he's doing. Let's say he's even going after you in certain ways that are legal. Mm -hmm. uh, do you eat it? Because you know you're never going to win in court. You're never going to be able to get any recourse. Mm -hmm. He's just too powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's why he's not scared. Mm -hmm. So to make a point, do you, what do you take from him that you know is going to affect him for the rest of your life, even though you could go to jail for it? Okay, so there's a lot of open. This being this is the first Josh Batshit uh, segment. Yeah, I want to I want to be in depth here. So yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in some of the parameters here on the on the scenario. So uh, I work at the place. You I've do. worked there for years. Years. years, six at least six loyal. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good gig. I get good bands. It was, it was great. I want to keep this gig. Yeah, this guy, um, he's my superior. How often do you do I work with him? You're Daily. A it's a direct report situation. Oh, direct report. So you're high. You're high up in the sense that even though you're a hump, you are a guy that works direct for the big people. Report. You work for big people, even though you're a hump. So you're in a supportive role, but you work for the for Ooh. like the upper echelon of. The company and this guy is the guy let's say it's a sales job and he is the biggest earner so he gets car blanche to really do whatever he wants because his oh. commissions are so high oh, 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 oh. let's say that uh, I gotta, but you can't affect any of his i gotta put it clients. in kind of like a little more of a context like that i've worked before sales i've never really i've never worked with like sales people well let's say so it's like, ads then so there's a guy at an ad agency who uh let's say this he's not i work in the editing department he's a uh he works in a different department but he's always in our department yes let's say that and there is no option for another job there just isn't just for the sake of argument and when i complain about him to my uh, my boss you try to go the right i'm like the, yeah dude this and guy he rats fucking you sucks. out to him this guy fucking sucks he's like yeah there's nothing you can do about it and then on top of that rats you out because he's scared if this guy finds out he's holding secrets, he could his job could be affected, and that's why he keeps fucking with you now because he realized that you would talk some shit. Where does he live? Westchester? Yeah. Okay. Because if I really wanted to, like if it was really bad, I would pay somebody to pay somebody. Like from Philly? To pay somebody to do to just create to just, a hole to just burn his car <laughs> just you know what i mean like yeah, 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 i would yeah. go like for but i would have to go like to somebody mm -hmm. that knew somebody that knew somebody like i would have to it would have to be far enough away from me because i almost did it <laughs> <laughs> but how do you get the payoff you need him to know it was you without incriminating yourself i would because you the whole thing is no, to get him to this, stop fucking this with is you. what would happen if it was far enough away from me that day that it happened, that his car caught on fire, I would, I would like, I would say, I'm, dude, I'm so sorry. To, I heard about your car. Even though he hasn't told anybody yet. Yeah. Love that. Dude, that's a good move. That's what I would do. Good move. If it was far enough, I would, but that's the thing. It would have to be far enough away from yeah. me that like you can never, dude, I'm so sorry about your car. I hope everybody's oh, but okay. You know what? Then there'd be a camera that would read your lips. Mm. All this tech, you can't get a good revenge in. No, I, there's a spot. There's a way to do there's it. There's a way to say. There's a way to do it. Elevator, some somewhere yeah. where I could like, oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Hey, I heard about the car. I hope everything's okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. 
I would. Do, a, I mean, that's a good move. Yeah, I like that move. But it's so hard to get to employ that though. Yeah, to find. And then you got now you got four other people that know what you did. Because I got now you got four people you got to pay right. off or yeah. that you owe a favor to. Right. You have four people you owe a favor a lot. to. It's a lot. And now you're living with it. Yeah. It's a lot. Damn. I don't know. I don't know that I. I. I don't know that I would like. That would be my plan A. Yeah. Uh. It's so much effort. Yeah. Because I almost did something like that. Remember the the car situation? Yeah, I remember this. <laughs> I mean, you were in every right to do something drastic. That was awful. <laughs> uh, I, but that's the thing too. I was like, dude, there's cameras everywhere now. Yeah. It's gonna be somebody gets picked up. I like your idea with property damage. But I don't. I'm always like the root. I would. My answer would have been totally different. Bodily. I I feel you, like kneecaps? the only. No, I feel like the only thing you can do to people like that, because they are smart enough to know you don't got any connections. Mm-hmm. So I know if I do something, I know this guy has more money to hire. You're talking about hiring somebody to do something. <laughs> he can hire somebody to do something. So it's not like. But he's not going to do that. You don't know. He has too much. To, he has too much to lose. You think if he knew it was you, he's not going to hire somebody. You don't think so? No, no way. No way. Not this fucking guy. If he was that kind of guy that would hire somebody, he probably wouldn't be that big of a he dick. He wouldn't be that big of a dick. So we're now saying because the personality he's a fucking conflict weasel. of that. He's a weasel. He's a weasel. So he would be spineless. <clears throat> but what if you're talking now? You know what the move is? Maybe not. It's even maybe Wall Street it's, level it's pictures of his bedroom. Left on his fucking you're desk. In there? Yeah, yeah, I just somebody. Do so you incriminate yourself right somebody, out of the gate? Somebody. <laughs> it's me. It's, it's me on his bed. Right, like, <laughs> fucking, fucking his wife. Fucking jerking off on his bed. <laughs> Selfieing. <laughs> oh man. See, I love Josh bad shit. That's a good jo- that's yeah. a good Josh bad bad shit. shit. Josh, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like it. I like it. That's what we do all night on the all day on the road. I got a million of those. <laughs> <laughs> so wait a second. So now get back to the swag. At the oh fucking, yeah, yeah. Good so what shit. was in the bag? Do you remember? Did you get like a well, flashlight? It was, just a, it was just a bag. Oh, it was just a bag. Yeah, it's, but like a high quality tote, right? That's a good bag. Yeah, man. big yeah, one yeah. too. Yeah, that's a good bag. Yeah, like yeah. Take it to the beach. Like it's one of those mm-hmm. ones that everyone wants. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got it was one good year. Shit. They, got, they get some good shit out. They gave one year. Uh, <laughs> That when I was working at that ad agency, they gave out a, a survival pack. It was immediately following. I don't. I forget what year it was. It was like 2009. A manhole cover blew up on Lexington. I think I remember this. I lived Lexington near 40, Lexington then. Yeah. At 41st. At man- I, well, I lived on um, 96th and Lex. So, oh, okay. So I live like on the line. Yeah, yeah. So that manhole cover blew up, and it was right outside the building. And then that year for swag, they gave everybody a survival pack. Like a flashlight, band-aids, antibiotic cream. (laughs) It's like, guys, this is a little too on the nose. (laughs) It's like, because where I worked, you know, I don't know if I've said this in the show before, but where I worked at the time of Sully landing the plane in the Hudson, I saw it land. Oh. I was like looking. (laughs) It was right. The where I worked right on the Hudson. Oh, shit. I saw the plane go by the window. Oh, fuck. It was Terrifying, shaking. Everything well, shaking. It, it it the sound. It, well, it's because Gina sound, heard it. Sound because we live right on the river. Yeah. Gina heard it as it was like you know Coming down because we're up by the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that would be, be them like giving out wings, like, <laughs> flotation <laughs> devices. Yeah, right. The fucking masks <laughs> that pop down. <laughs> uh it's good. I was thinking about this. Uh, I was. Uh, I don't know if I've. If I told the story on here before, is that it? I'll tell it, and if it's, you'll tell me as I get through <laughs> it. So I'm like an assistant editor, uh-huh. and we're going to a, uh, we got to go to like a session, you know, like so you do the edits, and then you go to like the mix, the color, yep. all those kind of uh, sessions, and those are always like fucking party day. You know what I mean? Because now I'm the we're the client. You know what I mean? Sometimes yeah. they would have like massage people there. Like oh. if you booked a, if you booked the session on Wednesday, there was a fucking masseuse that would come around in the room and give you a fucking shoulder rub. Oh, yeah, it was awesome, man. dude. Fucking food was like sushi. You know, it was like Top that was shelf. the best day of the of the whole job. Yeah. Was going to like the color session. So uh, we're doing that, and it's like 
the copywriter, our director, and the editor, and me. So it's four of us. So I hail a cab, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, it's four of us. So I gotta sit in the front seat. I open the front door to the fucking cab, and um, <clears throat> this uh, Pepsi bottle, big two liter Pepsi bottle with the top cut off, falls out. Piss. <laughs> Dude, oh, and s- no. falls out, hits the ground, and just s- the splash, oh, the this. splash that just oh, hit the me. The taxi guy pissed, and, and, and it's so warm. Oh, it's so, oh, so. <laughs> I'm envisioning that guy. Like I can see him in my head. Dude, and I look at him. I get him. He's not taking care of himself, so the piss is a rancid. P- oh. <laughs> Oh my God! That guy's whole piss bucket splashed dude, on you. Splashed on me, and I and I look at him, dude. I'm, you're going to the. You're I'm, so happy too. That's, that's like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> you're fucking. Oh, we're going to get massages. <laughs> and, Ed, and I know, Ed, you're so like anxiety. I gotta get to this front seat. Gotta get just whip it open. Even, just not even asking the guy. <laughs> Just whip open the fucking taxi door and then just fucking splash. Dude, if I was him, I would have just gunned it. Dude, so I look at him, I go, is this piss? Is this piss? Is this piss? And I saw, like, he was just like... <laughs> just just that slow nod. Hey, those I, dudes must have wanted to laugh at you so bad. Oh, dude, they're fucking dying laughing. <laughs> the three of them are dying laughing. And I go, what do I do? <laughs> what? not going with us. <laughs> That's exactly what he said. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Uh, you can go I got back. This Bengali's guy's piss all over me. <laughs> that was for all the white men. That guy's probably calling all his taxi buddies. They probably are celebrating. They're probably like dancing shit at the that it's 3 a.m. Like fucking when, car wash place. Like, they all hang like out. When at. You see those cameramen at the, like on 9/11 when they're dancing over in like Syria. <laughs> Fucking white man with piss. <laughs> Those dudes hate white people. They hate white people. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, you've never told me that story. That's incredible. <laughs> oh, what did you do? You must have just burned your clothes. So, oh, is, is that one of those shirts you're talking about? <laughs> your swag? Is this what you wanted to get to with the swag? So I went upstairs and I put some swag on. <laughs> really? <laughs> I come back in and you know I had just like within the like last three months had moved from the mail room to an assistant so and as I come back in the mail room guys will go what are you doing back here and I go man one of the mighty had fallen I go I just got sprayed with piss man and all fucking mail room goes just goes up and fucking laughs like an elf where he's fucking getting drunk with the whole mail room they're fucking doing the Russian dance over your piss body you just collected people's shit. <laughs> I'll give you my socks, Eddie. <laughs> oh, Harold's going to give me his socks. All right. It's collecting people's clothes. There's some old sweatshirts. I got a big meeting, guys. <laughs> There's some old sweatshirts on 21. Go rummage through that box. Come on, guys. Eddie needs us. He used to be one of us. Let's not let him down. He has a big meeting. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, that's epic. Oh. <laughs> I like to make at, a whole movie based on that day. Just the look on that I, guy's I, face. He's just staring at <laughs> <out> him. <and he's, laughs> <laughs> oh, just the thought of how that piss looks makes me want to. Oh god damn! But who's fucking driving around? Like why? All those dudes do that. Yeah, but tip it out of it. What are you carrying? What are you know. saving it for? I <laughs> what? Yeah, I had a chance to <laughs> empty my bucket. <laughs> hey, sorry, pal. I haven't had a chance to. It's been a busy, busy <laughs> afternoon. I've been, bu- <laughs> been fucking busy. Rise nonstop. <laughs> <laughs> have a chance to dump my piss bucket because there was no like <laughs> lid on it you know what I mean it was like the, hey I don't have time for the lid <laughs> it was cut on, but it was like he was doctored it it was like a two liter bottle that <laughs> he, <laughs> his wife is doing it for him <laughs> you make my piss bucket he, <laughs> he, he, wa- he washes me <laughs> three in rotation it's like filed down so it's smooth so he doesn't scratch his dick <laughs> <laughs> He's like, as he before, before they pull away, he's like, he gets out, he grabs the piss bucket, <laughs> shakes, shakes so it out. Door and gets up. Thanks, bud. I've been after that piss bucket. Uh, <laughs> the, 
the three of them sitting in the back seat. They still took that cab too. <laughs> I bet they were talking to that guy. Hey, how long you been pissing on that thing, bud? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, man. That's incredible. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That was, a, that was a fun job. I, I had a good time being an assistant. Being an assistant is like, because you kind of get the, like, you have responsibilities, but you can just fuck around. And, you know, I was like such a, like, a fucking crackhead, too, that, like, everybody yeah. got a kick out of me. Yeah. Yeah, until they did. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that funny how that works for guys like us? <laughs> you can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes. And please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.